I'm just making myself some breakfast. I don't usually eat breakfast, but it's the weekend, and this evening I'm having a dinner party in the garden, so I'll skip lunch. This past week I went back to my hometown for my niece's fifth birthday. I was only supposed to be there for the weekend, but my trains were cancelled three days in a row. I ended up being there for five days. So my plans need some attention after my absence. But it was so nice to be back home and spend some extra quality time with my loved ones. Sadly this one didn't make it, so it's going to be replaced with some fresh flowers a bit later on. I'm going to have a quick tidy of my desk. It's quite full with things at the moment, so I'll clear away some stuff and make it look neat again. Sophie needs a walk and I need coffee.
Now I'm just tidying away some of my books. I'm going to take some of the larger coffee table ones and display them on the round table. Talking about books, I've just finished this one, We Were Liars, which I've talked about. Um, I think I talked about it in the last video, saying that I was struggling to finish it, but I finally have finished it. And I really did enjoy this one. It had a real twist at the end that I wasn't expecting. I always love that in a book. And what I thought I would do is, um, I don't want to keep piles and piles of books that I've read. I'm probably never going to read it again. So I thought that I would um, forward it on to one of you. So I have written my name inside of here, Nicholas Fairford, July 2022, so that is when I finish the book. And what I want to do is, I want to give this to somebody else. So if you want to have this book to read, just leave me a comment in the, in this video, just saying that you want, would like to have the book, and I will choose somebody at random and forward it to you but there is a condition of this. I would like you to then forward it on to somebody else when you finish reading it, but before you do that, write your name underneath mine and let's just see how many names we can fit in this book by keep forwarding it on. And I think I might do that with every book that I read now because it's very nice to give the gift of a book and um, it's better than just, than them just being gathering dust around someone's house. So pay it forward. I'm gonna pay it forward and choose someone to receive this for free. So when I was thinking about what kind of food I wanted to serve at my garden dinner party, the first thing that I was thinking of was something that is very simple. So I was thinking of doing a simple salad, a delicious roast chicken, maybe some roast potatoes to go with it, and then for pudding I thought of doing my favourite dessert, which is a strawberry pavlova. Now this is my ultimate because it is one of the most satisfying delicious puddings that everybody seems to absolutely enjoy, but it's just so easy to make. And for me, that is the great, perfect combination when it comes to cooking and making food. Simple, delicious, and a crowd pleaser. It's actually one of the very first puddings I ever made when I didn't know how to cook. I just had it at a, a restaurant, wanted to make it on my own, so I quickly researched how you do it. Quickly learned that it's just egg whites and sugar and you mix them together and it really is that simple. You bake it and you get this crunchy, chewy, beautiful pudding that everybody seems to enjoy. So I thought that that would be an easy thing to do where I'm not gonna be stressed out trying to assemble some fancy pudding. And the great thing is, is that it looks complex and it looks amazing on the table. So it is an all round great pudding to try. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add four egg whites to the mixer. And then we're going to mix them, whisk them, until they form stiff peaks. So let's do that now. Okay, I think that is pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is take some caster sugar and we're gonna add this in a tablespoon at a time until we have a thick, glossy meringue uh, base. This is where it really starts to get glossy and gorgeous now and becomes the meringue that you need to have. Okay, I think this is quite good. Stiff peaks, 
glossy white, exactly what we were looking for. Now I'm going to add in one teaspoon of corn flour and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now we're going to whisk it again. Okay, and that is ready now. It's white, glossy, gorgeous, beautiful. Now, I'm not sure whether you can see, but I've actually created a circle with a dinner plate on this parchment paper, and I'm going to put the meringue inside of here, inside the circle, and we'll just start by putting it in, and then what I will do is spread it round and try to create like a kind of crater so the the uh, outer edges are higher than the middle. And then that should help us to give a <clears throat> better meringue in terms of you'll be able to fill it in the middle with our toppings, the cream and the strawberries. This does not need to be perfect. We're just trying to get these edges to be higher than the middle. But other than that, it does not need to be absolutely perfectly round. The meringue always looks best when it's messy, I think. So yeah, I'm just pushing the sides so you get more of a fluted edge. we're good to go. Now this is going to go into the oven 150 for an hour and then once the hour has passed you turn off the oven and let the pavlova cool completely in the oven. And that is it. So a meringue is done. You can see that it looks beautiful. It's cracked all the way through which is exactly what we're looking for. And now I'm going to add in some cream that I've made which is just double cream whipped with a little bit of caster sugar and some vanilla extract. So this is a really delicious kind of Chantilly style cream that will be perfect with our pavlova. And then to finish it off, I'm just going to add in some quartered strawberries all over the top. This is really gorgeous British summery pudding that, well, not British, <laughs> but it reminds me of British times. It's time to set the table in my courtyard for dinner. I'm having two friends over and I'm really looking forward to sitting outside. As it's summer and we're eating outdoors, I'm going to be using my Villaroy & Bock Rose Garden Collection dinnerware. I really have been enjoying it a lot and love how simply elegant it is. Pretty much got the entire collection now, including the placemats, cutlery and glassware, so it all looks pretty smart when you put it together. I also like that the collection doesn't look too matchy-matchy. There are different styles in the design so that it looks relaxed and fun. So as you can see here, I've got some pink dinner plates and then I've got the rose motif side plates. And on top I'm just going to use the white dining plates as well, just to mix and match. I think this glassware is probably my favourite thing about the collection. They're so elegant with their fluted glass which just catches the light so beautifully.
when I'm entertaining, I like to use all of the things that I have. So even though these are supposed to be coffee mugs, I thought that I would use them to serve the roast potatoes because I just wanted them on the table today. So just try to think outside the box and use your things as much as possible. So as you've probably noticed, the title of this video is Taking a Break from YouTube. So I thought that I would tell you what's going on. So in the two years that I started this channel, I've only missed one week, I believe, where I didn't post on YouTube. And that was due to a technical error and the video wouldn't upload. So I just decided to save it for the next week. So yeah, I haven't had a week off YouTube um, uploading and posting. And I've got a busy few weeks coming up in my personal and professional life. My sister's getting married in Mallorca. I'm going away to Italy on holiday. And also I'm going to be redeveloping nicholasfairford.com. So I felt like I needed to have two weeks where I don't have to film or worry about posting so that I can focus on all of those things. Also, my business partner is away in Amsterdam doing some personal things as well so I haven't really got anybody here to help me with filming I can film a lot of content on my own but when I'm wanting to do kind of walking shots and following me around in stores and things like that it's quite difficult to do that by yourself so I thought that to make life easier and just to have a little bit of a rest I would be take I would take two weeks off so I'm going to be gone for the next two weeks and I'll be back on the 7th of August, Sunday the 7th of August. I will still be posting on my other social media accounts on Instagram and TikTok. So check out those if you want to see what I'm up to. I will post some updates on there. Also, in the next few weeks, possibly the next few days, I'm going to be launching my new summer ebook. Um, I did my last ebook at Christmas time and I charged five pounds for that. But I decided that as I'm not going to be here and as a little gift to you, I would make this one complimentary. So it's free of charge and it just has summer entertaining ideas, uh, some past memories of mine from summertime, my favorite destinations, and then also a few recipes. So, yeah, I will be posting soon to let you know when that will be available. But thank you so much. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video found it fun and entertaining and I will see you next time on the 7th of August. Until then, take care and have a great week. Bye bye.